Welcome back. We are here with an updated family tree video and we are going to take a look at the final family tree of the Clark family. So if you'll remember the Clark family was a legacy that we did where we were filling up every lot in Newcrest. Each generation was a new lot so there are 15 generations each that took a lot in Newcrest and then of course there's one extra because we did adopt a child in the last one. So let's get started at the top. Here. Well, actually, let's just take a look at this thing. It is massive. Um, and I will put the link to this family tree in the description. But here is the whole thing. Very big. Um, and you can check this link out. This is the Plum Tree app. And you can edit uh, Sim family trees in this website and it is really cool. So we're going to start at the top with Callie Clark who was the founder of the Clark family. So if you'll remember Callie um, started the legacy um, and she's a global superstar and a level 10 actress. We did get a star on the Walk of Fame there. She dated Akira for some time and they dated for like their whole lives and had their daughter Anya together, but they only got married very shortly before they passed away. Like they got married when they were elders. So that is what happened with them. And um, she also um, ended up moving in with Anya after Akira passed because she didn't want to live alone. So here is Callie. Then we are moving to Anya. Anya is the second generation and she spent most of her teenage life in Mount Komorebi where she um, you know, worked on the extreme, extreme sports aspiration. And then she became an astronaut. So once while she was traveling to space, she met Esteban who was her first husband. They got married really quickly because you know she wanted to continue the legacy she had feelings about her parents being so old like her parents never got to meet their grandchildren and that was something that she wanted for herself to be able to meet her grandchildren so she was like I gotta pick up the pace here so she got married really quickly and they had two children together um, I already forget their names Harper and Zoe they had two children Harper and Zoe and then he cheated on her with another alien and then they got divorced and she married her longtime friend who she had been uh, climbing the mountain in Mount Komorebi with, Teresa. And they um, stayed together until they died. Now, Riker here, he, his dad is Andy Fang and Anya just had a one night stand with him. And that is how Andy came about. So Andy was before she married Teresa. So that is generation two, astronaut. Then in the third generation, we followed actually all three of these, but technically Harper is the matriarch. She and her siblings all had Batu aspirations. So she was part of the first order. And um, then Zoe was part of the rebellion and Riker was a scoundrel. So we completed all three Batu aspirations with these three siblings. And she had a child with Kylo Ren, and that was Kaylee here. And um, each one of them, when they retired, became a business person. So that is what happened there. Kaylee is the fourth matriarch, and she, as a teenager, became the Strangerville hero. So that was what she did with her teenage years. The Batu aspirations didn't take that long, so we did focus on her. And um, she took after her father. She's not blue. And uh, she married her high school sweetheart, Sylvia. And then they adopted two children. Uh, Kaylee was also in the military career. That was part of the Strangerville thing. Then Josephine and... Nathan were the adopted children. We're starting to get get a big family tree here. Um, so Josephine is the fifth generation and she had a college aspiration. So she graduated university 
and fulfilled that aspiration, the university aspiration, and became a judge. She had several children with several different fathers, including Father Winter. So there was that. She, um, she did whatever she wanted. She got her kids one way or another. So her kids were actually uh, Griffin, who was the child with Father Winter. You can see right here, Clement Frost. And Abby, who was Salvatore Zest's daughter. And then Colin and Wells were twins with Daichi Watanabe. And uh, Colin actually, so Daichi is a vampire. So Colin also was born a vampire. They were not, they're not identical twins. So Wells was not born a vampire. So that's what happened there. So we're going to move on to Griffin. Griffin also married his high school sweetheart, who is Zara, and she's a mermaid. So that was fun. They both dedicated their lives to exploring, exploring Selva Dorada. And um, we did both of those aspirations with them. So they both did a Selva Dorada aspiration. And that was pretty much it. They, they got a lot of money from all the archaeology stuff. They had four kids. <laughs> So they had four kids, Blake, Echo, Ash, and Hope. Ash and Hope were actually twins and also both mermaids. Actually, Echo's a mermaid too. I think Blake might have been a mermaid and then I took that away from him because it was too much work. But anyway, we um, have Blake now. Blake is the seventh generation and he had a music aspiration. He was a musician and he also was part of the first club that we got into in this Let's Play. If you'll remember, we actually made the family club during this generation, which persisted for the rest of the series. And also we bought literally every single reward for that club. So that was a lot of fun. Um, he had several lovers and children by a couple of women. And... He first got with Kelsey, who already, you know, was married with kids and um, totally just abandoned her family to live the high life. But she was ousted by Lexi Landgrab and Lexi actually ended up killing Blake in the end to steal his money. So um, Kelsey and Blake had Octavia and then Lexi and Blake had Jaha. So that is what happened there. And also, basically what happened was Lexi um, and Colin conspired against Blake in order to steal the legacy. And what happened was Colin and turned Lexi into a vampire and then she killed Blake. And then um, he was, he like moved in hoping he could get stuff, whatever. And um, Octavia because she is the heir, had access to everything. So then he told Octavia he would help her get rid of Lexi. So they both got rid of Lexi together, and then Octavia knew he was evil. So she ended up um, locking Colin outside, and he burned. So that was what happened there. And then Octavia had a very difficult childhood. Like I just explained, she uh, killed her stepmother and then ran away. And... Then she opened her own vet clinic and had several pets. She actually, um, you know, was a little wary of relationships at first, but eventually married her roommate and her friend, Melanie, who is trans. And they lived happily above the clinic for the rest of their lives. They had twin boys, Murphy and Rowan. And after, after we had our first set of identical twins and I realized that that was a thing, I said it to always that our twins are identical. So um, they are identical though they have very different personalities. Murphy um, had the soulmate aspiration and Rowan had the serial romantic aspiration. So that's kind of, they both worked on romance, but they went about it different ways. And they lived in these townhouses that were on the same lot. And uh, they were both salary men, so they took different tracks, but the same career. So Murphy completed his soulmate aspiration with his wife, Amori, and they had several children. 
including Becca, Allie, and John. So that was Murphy. And then Rowan got that, hey, you want some money? Why don't you get married in seven days? So he married one of his many girlfriends, who was Sachiko, and they had Jordan. So that's what happened there. We are moving on to Becca. <laughs> Becca had a complicated life as well. Becca was a scientist. She joined the science career and she married her co-worker, Warren, this guy. And they had one child, Finn, who we'll talk about in a second. Finn um, is non-binary. But anyway, so she got together with Warren and then her sister, actually, her sister, Allie, had an affair with Warren as well. So Allie um, got pregnant with Gabriel and then moved in with Becca and Warren and Finn. Um, you know, she was like asking her sister for help. So um, Becca let her move in and behind her back, the two continued their affair. So she had Gabriel and Russell. And then um, Becca found out about the affair and divorced Warren. So then Warren and Allie got married. And then they had their third child, Ilian. But, and totally by accident, Warren died from woohoo. Um, so that was too bad. And then Allie, who was a wannabe celebrity, remarried her fan, Bella. And um, Becca ended up dating Caleb, who is a scientist. We'll get more into Caleb later, but he was also in the science career. So Becca just dated him. He's a vampire, and you know they neither of them were really looking for any kind of permanent situation, but she just you know needed some company. So Finn, Finn moved out as a teenager actually and became a spellcaster. They completed both the spell and potions aspiration, and had a child with each sage of mas magic, and then became immortal. And for some reason, the immortality thing didn't work out and they died. But anyway, they had three kids. Um, Nelson, who is Kenji Endo's child. Sachin, who is Yamato Imai's child. And then Fox, who is Ishan Mahajan's child. So each one of those people is a mage or of magic. What is it? Sage of magic. And um, each one of them had a child with Finn. So, Nelson. Nelson had a lot of kids. <laughs> let me, let me zoom out a little. Okay. Nelson here had a lot of children. Nelson moved on to land to start his own farm. He was a farmer. Unfortunately, the land was haunted. And also, he wasn't a great farmer. Just putting that out there. Anyway, uh, Tessa... Uh, came from a family of paranormal spellcasters, and she moved in to begin to help Nelson with the haunting and also joined the paranormal investigator career. The two fell in love, got married, and had five children. Those children are Raven, Lexa, Bellamy, Indra, and Nyla. Actually, I think Raven and Lexa are siblings. Or, uh, I mean siblings. They're twins. Um, and actually, before we move on to the next generation, I'm just going to quickly say here, Lexa married Simone, and they had Lindsay. Bellamy married Kelly, and had Charlie. Indra married Kira, and they had Ariana and Vincent. And then Nyla married Annie. So... That's what happened with those people. I Sometimes I kept track of what happened with some of the other people. Sometimes I didn't. It's hard to find them after a while. And you know the Sims family tree breaks after five seconds. So anyway, we are moving on to... Nope. Raven. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. Because we're starting to get... starting to get hard to figure out who we're looking at. So Raven became a level 10 doctor. She dated Cade. Cade. For a while, he was married to Marie with three kids and cheated on his wife with Raven. And when she found out, she gave him the chance to come clean and, you know, was pregnant with his child. But he just kind of didn't want to give up his his double life here. So she broke up with him and then told his wife 
about his affair, which prompted her to divorce him as well. So both of them kicked kicked him to the curb. They had Malachi. Malachi. And um, then Lexa, over here, ended up setting Raven up with her, what would be her husband, Lincoln. And Lincoln actually already had a daughter with his wife who had passed away. So he was a widower with one daughter, Leanne. And um, actually Malachi and Leanne were really close. They had one child together, Lincoln and Raven, and that was Eric. Eric was born, though, way later, so um, he wasn't as close to his siblings. But Leanne did get married to Jackson, who was a mermaid, and they had Gaia and Andy, who actually still showed up in the last generation's family club, so that was fun. I really enjoyed Raven's generation. I enjoyed that one so much. I thought that um, I thought she had a great life. So anyway, uh, Malachi. Malachi has a lot of information next to him. Sorry, I was trying to scroll down over here. Uh, Malachi has a lot of information. Also three wives because he was a polygamist. So here we go. Malachi moved into the White House. That was a speed build on my channel with his wife, Delilah. Delilah. They had twins, Luna and Kyle. Kyle, Luna. And um, Malachi actually made them compete for the air spot by completing their childhood aspirations. So that was a whole thing. These two competed against each other for their entire childhood in order to decide who would win uh, the spot of air. And he was a polygamist, so he ended up marrying a second wife, Vera. Vera and him had Sterling and Jake. Sorry, where am I? Sterling and Jake. And then he ended up marrying Diana, whose name I always got messed up. And um, Diana had Shumway and Sydney. So this is already a lot of kids. <laughs> and then last round of babies, he woohooed with each wife. And Delilah was actually the only one who didn't get pregnant. And this really hurt their relationship. But the other two did get pregnant, and they had, let me see, Wick, Bree, and Carl. Carl and Bree are twins. So that's a lot. A lot of kids. Way too many Sims in this household. So um, Delilah was, was not feeling good. They were never... The, their relationship was just totally tanking at this point. Like, he, like, made her kids compete against each other, and that hurt their relationship. And then he, you know, kind of neglected her because she wasn't as fertile as the other wives, I guess. So um, that was tough for, for their relationship. And so he was a politician. And in order to catapult his political career, he decided... He needed to make himself sympathetic. So he ended up killing Delilah. Him and Vera decided to get together and kill her. Also, that puts Vera in the HBIC, HBIC spot. So um, that's what they did. They killed Delilah. Also, um, Luna ended up winning the competition. That's when they became teenagers. So um, Vera and Malachi just kind of really, really, really got close. And, um, you know, now they were accomplices and whatever. Diana was much younger, so she didn't really understand what was going on. And she was just kind of, you know, oblivious to the whole thing. And so Diana, um, Vera was really mean to Diana because I think Vera wanted all the power to herself. And I don't know. Anyway, you, you'll have to watch this generation. It's a lot to explain. <laughs> And uh, Kyle has mommy issues, and Diana is, like I said, so much younger than everyone else, so it, she wasn't that much older than Kyle, so they started dating in secret. And then Diana got pregnant, but she was able to pass it off as Malachi's child until Vera found out. Vera, you know, is mean and evil and whatever. So Vera told Malachi, and he 
basically said, like, I can get rid of you, blah, blah, blah. Like, I got rid of Delilah. He admitted it. Kyle ran to Luna, and Luna then killed Malachi and Farah in revenge. So then everyone was able to live happily ever after. So Kyle ended up getting married to Diana, and they had a child, Emerson, who got married to Hannah, and they had Nyko. So that's that. And then Sterling got married to Angel, and they had Lorelai. Jake got married to David. These two did get married, but they disappeared off my map, so I lost them. Wick got married to Maya, and they had Fern. And then Bree and Jeffrey had Antari. So that is what happened with that family. And then we are on the final generation. <laughs> wow, this is a lot. Uh, then we were on the final generation of Luna, Luna who moved out on her own. She enlisted Caleb to, with, to help her to become a vampire. And uh, they dated and they moved in together. She completed both the vampire family and master vampire aspirations and got to level 10 of the detective career. Now, not only is she married to Caleb, but Jewel is her girlfriend. Jewel is also Caleb's girlfriend. They're in like a polyamorous situation. Um, I saw Jewel and I thought she was super cool, so I had to add her in to, you know, their lives. And uh, Paxton is the adopted child of Luna, and that is their little family. So that is it, you guys, for this family tree. It's actually a lot, but um, this is what happened. I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. I am definitely going to continue to do Let's Plays on my channel. And uh, I'll put the link to this in the description. And I am not going to add to this family tree anymore, but I am going to be continuing with Luna and her family. So I will uh, start making a separate family tree for them. So that is all for today. I hope that you, you know, join me on the next one. And I will catch you guys then.